Hey Brain Munchers, it's your helpful zombie girl, here to give you some quick tips for Realm Royale. Your class abilities, weapons, armor, and movability can all be upgraded, so when looting chests be sure to check the color of each item. Of course, if it's an upgrade, it will show arrows as well. When looting, you'll come across abilities, armor, and weapons that you can't use or don't want to use. Hit X to disenchant and turn them into shards. The amount of shards you get from disenchanting an item relates to the rarity. If it's white, you'll get 5, green is 10, purple is 15, I don't know blue yet, I haven't found one, and gold is 30. Enemies will drop shards when they're killed, if they have any. You can only carry a max of 200 shards, but if you're at the forge, you can craft multiple items and run off to disenchant more objects. Also, you don't have to stay in the circle by the forge. Your item will be locked for you for a few seconds after it's crafted before anyone else can pick it up. When you play with others, if you look to the top left, you'll see a bunch of icons under their names. When you're looting, you can take a look and see if any of your teammates need armor, weapons, or abilities before disenchanting them like a jerk. You know who you are, random guy who turned my purple bow into shards. When falling from the zeppelin, although your character animation doesn't change, pointing your camera out to the horizon helps you go further, while pointing your camera straight down drops you into a dive straight down. When using your move ability, you can hit the spacebar and jump, then hit F to use your ability while in midair, and give yourself an extra boost. Also, in Realm Royale, you don't take any fall damage, but you do come down into a hero landing that stuns you for a few seconds. Horses are my favorite part of this whole game, but do remember that your mount, which is Z by the way, for those who were slow like me, does have a cooldown. Windows are not made for humans in this game. Not for the most part, at least. It's a chicken escape. No amount of crouching or movability mashing will get you through that tiny window. It's your chicken leap of faith out the window that might save you. Your cursor changes to orange or a circle with an X to warn you that you'll shoot an object. For me though, this is sometimes glitchy and I can shoot through columns or even get shot through them. Hitting I will allow you to swap your abilities and weapons, but you can't put your abilities in slots 1 or 2 or your weapons in 3 or 4, nor can you check the name of the weapons or ability you have on the screen. Also, I have no idea how to drop items, if that's even possible. Throughout the map, there's different chests you can find. The weapons chest, which of course will always give you just weapons, and the chest that can give you weapons, armor, and abilities. There's also this box chest that will give you some kind of potion. Also, of course, you have the drop chest, which will give you a rare item. Alright guys, those are my helpful tips from Realm Royale in my little time of playing it. I've been super enjoying it. Although, I have to be honest, the part where I can turn into a chicken and have a chance to come back and the horse are the actual reason I started playing. If you guys have any more tips for me or anybody else watching this video, please leave them in the comments below and I will like them or favorite them or whatever it is you do on YouTube. Alright guys, thank you for watching my video. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm Zombie Girl and I will see you later. Bye!